Hi there, I am back again to do another tutorial and this one is going to be for the this uh, accordion style uh, swap box that um, I've created here. Um, I'm going to show you how I created my box. So let's get started. First of all you'll need two for the one that I'm doing. Now you don't have to do it the same way. You can just do yours directly with your pattern paper, but I'm going to mat mine. So I have all my pieces cut here, um, but you can use um, a 12 by 12 sheet of paper and just cut it down and use these same measurements without doing any type of matting. So, but what I did is I used two sheets of eight and a half by 11 um, cardstock and I trimmed it up down to seven by 11. So that's this one here. And then the second one I just used um, seven by two and a half inches. And then I round the edges on the top here on my little piece here. Then for this larger one you're going to want to use your scoreboard and score it at let's move that there. So you're going to put this in your scoreboard with the 11 on the end up here. You're going to score it at 4 And then you're going to score it again at five and a half. And then you're going to score this again at uh, nine and a half. So I don't know if you can see those score marks. But again, four, five and a half, and nine and a half. Then you're going to take your smaller piece and you're going to put it in with a two and a half is up here you're going to just score it at a half an inch and then you are done with that for now so you can just set that aside then you're going to glue this piece um, so where you sco scored at the the nine and a half you want that to be on this right side here and then your four and five and a half to the left of you you're going to to glue where that where you scored that on that half an inch, you're gonna glue this, or you could use um, uh, double sided tape um, or score tape for this part here. I just don't have any, so I'm using my Fabri Tac. And you just line that up with your score line there. Just don't, don't go over your score line because you're going to want to fold it there. And I like this because it gives you a little bit of time to move it around. So there. So there you have that. Then you're going to want to fold on your score lines. So the score line that you made it a half, you fold that and then you fold the nine and then you fold the other two, the five and a half and then it's the four. And there's your base of your box there. So then, what 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to mat everything that I want to mat, which I already have all my pieces cut. So if you're going to mat your um, matchers like I did, you're going to need, and I'm going to mat... I'm going to mat this front flap, the top, the back, the bottom, and then the front cover here. And I'm also going to mat on the inside just because it will give it more strength and sturdiness on mine. And I like that. So what I'm going to do is I have all my pieces cut, which you'll need... If you're going to mat for my front cover, I'm going to use this here and my back. And they are 6 and 7 eighths by 3 and 3 fourths. So they'll fit and you'll have a little bit of white showing around the edge. So I'm going to put one there. And I'm going to put one here. Again, so there are three and seven eighths by three and uh, three fourths of an inch. For your bottom piece and your top piece here, they'll be six and seven eighths by one and three eighths. So that goes there. And then that one goes there. And then for my front flap here, um, it's going to be 6 and 7 eighths by 1 and 7 eighths. And it will fit right in there like that. So then I'm going to glue these real quick on there. And then we're going to do the inside. I'm running out of glue. So it may take me a little bit of time here. And I'm sorry about that. So then you just... That glue that right on there like so. I'm going to glue this one here from my bottom. for the back. And again, you don't have to mat. You can just use your pattern paper and um, just cut the main um, pages and you don't uh, have to mat it. So this is just an extra step, but you don't have to do that. Um, I also distress the edges on the, my pattern paper here. So that's already all done too. So then, so there's that. And then we're going to flip it over and we're going to do the inside and you're going to have the same exact measurements and cuts for your inside pieces. Um, you're going to have the same measurements. 
So you'll have the front and back are going to be six and seven eighths by three and three fourth. And again, I'm only doing this to give it a little bit more strength. And then for your top and your bottom piece, um, it's going to be six and seven eighths by one and three eighths. And I, I did um, distress these also with just regular black um, stamping ink. One more piece to glue on here. So then this front flap piece is again going to be six and seven eighths by one and seven eighths. So there's the inside. Now I'm going to let this dry a little bit and I'm going to show you the next step that you um, are going to need to do. So your next step is your um, side pieces here and then your inside, um, your inside uh, dividers. So you'll need to cut um four and these are going to be for your dividers you're going to need to cut four that are going to be seven by three and you're going to need four of those and these again are for your dividers and then you're going to need two that are six by three and a half and these two you're going to score You're going to score these at every half inch. So half inch, one inch, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, and all, and then all the way down, ending at five and a half. So a half inch, one inch, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, and so on. All the way down, ending at five and a half. So then you so then you have your pieces here. Obviously you want your pattern inside to be on the outside, so you're going to fold The first one down towards you and just do an accordion style fold all the way down trying to keep it straight here I'll fold it on the side too just so it stays straight so then you have your accordion style fold, like that, and you want both of them to look like that. Make sure you stay on your fold line. That one didn't. Accordion 
style fold all the way down like so. Just gonna crease these to make sure. So then here you have those and you're gonna need these. So I'm gonna set these aside for now. Set those aside and I'm going to do my closure my closure piece here, my circle, and then I'm going to do my two eyelets on the bottom and show you how to how to do that. I don't know what I did with my elastic. I don't have my elastic here. Okay, so this hopefully is dry enough. So this is my inside, and this is the outside. And it's much sturdier, but as the glue dries, it'll even, it'll even get harder. So I'm going to use my crocodile here, and I'm going to use the inch side for the bottom. So you want to make sure that you're going to do it in the bottom, not up here by this flap. Unless you're going to put a handle, but we're not going to do a handle. We're just going to do it on the bottom. So I'm going to take the half inch and put it all the way in and kind of center it. And then put my hole. And I'm going to do that on both sides. And then I'm going to put my eyelid piece in there. And then squeeze it. And then again, do that on this side. squeeze it and you close them down and I'm going to change this because I'm using my littler one for the top so then while you have your crocodile out you want to put your closure up here so I have my circle and my little eyelet here um, if you use a little bit of washi tape to help with holding it in place while you, so you just, I'm just going to eyeball it, run it about right there, I'm just going to put my washi tape there to hold it and then I'm going to use the um, the smaller side which is this side an eighth oh, yeah so use my smaller side kind of get it in the center hopefully it's in the center it looks like it and then I'm just going to use a little green one just going to put it in the hole there and then squeeze it and squeeze it down. So then once that's done you can put in your elastic and I'm going to cut my elastic at 10 inches And then I'm going to put a knot, try and get it as close to the 
top. And then we're just going to put it through. the inside and then pull it through the from the outside towards the inside and I'm going to close it up I'm going to estimate where I want to tie this second closure. So I want it to be about right there. So it's where I want my knot to end up. going to try and hold my finger there and then make sure that my knot ends up where my where I was holding that and then just cut that extra off and you're good to go so then you want to glue in your accordion side pieces here Remember, this is your bottom because that's where you're going to, um, you're going to want to make sure that this accordion gets right at the bottom above the score line when it closes, okay? You could also use your ATG gun, I believe that's what they're called. Um, you can use score tape. But I like to use the fabric tack because it gives you a little bit of time to maneuver it. You want to make sure that it lines up right with the edge. I'm going to let that dry. And then I'm going to glue... Did I do that on the right one? Yeah. I'm going to glue the second piece in right, right at the bottom and then right, right on the edge. Right on the edge here. And then right at the bottom, right before your score line. So when you fold this up, it's um, not going to interfere in that. Okay. okay, then then you're going to, this is when you're going to glue in your um, dividers. So I'm just going to make sure that all my glue mass is cleaned up so that my dividers don't stick to one another. Okay, just making sure that those are lined up there. Okay, then you have your four divider pieces. Again, they're seven by three. So you're gonna put one here, you're gonna leave this open so then you're going to fold that down and you're going to glue that right there, right there on that. And you're going to want to make sure that your bottom of your divider is right at the bottom of your um, fold there. When you're accordion and fold, you want to make sure it's right at the bottom. And then, you know, same, same on this side, okay? A little long I'm just going to shave just a little bit off the edge of that okay so then we're going to take our pattern paper
paper or dividers and we're going to glue one side at a time. And then just Glue the other side and again make sure they're right at the bottom and then I'm just going to fold the next one down and then fold this one down and just push it to fit right in there. Okay. Right in there. Try and get it so it doesn't bow like that. And then you're going to take your next one. Just going to shave a little bit off. I think they're a little too long. So then your next one, I'm just going to take a little bit of glue because this glue is making a mess. So then you fold it down and then that's where you're going to put your next one. You fold that down and this is where you're going to put your next one, okay, on this side too. Okay, then you, again, I'm going to shave just a little bit off of these. Glue this one up on this side. Uh, fold it down again, and then that's where you're going to put your divider. Same one on this side, fold it down and then place your divider. Okay, so then you have a valley and then, then another valley here. So your next one's going to go right here and you'll have one left over, okay? Then you take your last divider, and you glue this one in. Making sure it's right at the bottom of your accordion fold here. And you're going to glue this here to your front flap. You're going to glue it like that, okay? So when you do this, you're going to want to do them one at a time. And you might want to use a clip or something to hold it in place. You're going to want it right at the bottom, again, of the, of the score line. And it, it won't come all the way to the top. It will be just like the back side. Um, but you're going to want it right at the edge. Right here, you want it at the edge. So I... Like right here, you could put a clamp to hold it in place so that it doesn't move on you. So like here and here, just 
so it doesn't move while you're gluing this side over here. Again, you're going to want to make sure that it's right flush with the edge here, your accordion fold, and that it comes right to the fold score line here on the front, okay? So I'm going to use one of these over here. Okay, I'm going to go get a couple more clips here. dry for a little bit. So then you have your box completed once you get to that point and then you can decorate it however you want. So I will put all the measurements in the description box again um, for those of you that would like to try and make it yourselves. And I hope that this tutorial was helpful and I did everything that I could to show you how to make it and if you have any questions or comments uh, just leave them down below and I'll be more than happy to answer them. Thanks for watching. Bye.